what means to you to bring the Hawaiian culture to this movie? Yeah, so bringing the Hawaiian culture was my biggest inspiration in this whole movie. You know, I was a Hawaiian girl my whole life, born and raised, you know, and getting to move out to LA and having this full circle moment to get to play this Hawaiian girl. You know, I grew up and never saw my culture on the screen. I never got to see girls like me. And my culture has always been something so, you know, true to my heart and getting to go on camera on the big screen and be able to share it with the world. It's going to be such an honor because it's never really happened before. And the fact that it's me, it's my face that gets to bring it to the world. I'm so excited for everyone to learn about it. It's such a beautiful culture. And I don't think people, even if you visited or you've heard about it, you haven't had a true chance to see the inside. And I feel like in our movie, we did a really good job to touch on that. Hi, Lynette with fantasticlife.com. Thank you so much for the film. We laughed the entire time. Uh, it was amazing. So I'd love to know from both of you, I know Lindsay spoke a little bit about it, um, but how has being in this film made an impact on you personally? You know, so for me personally, um, like I said, you know, being a Hawaiian girl, this was the biggest, it, it filled my heart with joy to be able to go out there. And I mean, the joke is I didn't really have to do much character work. I wasn't really even acting because I was being myself, you know, I, I stepped into the role and I laughed when I read the script because I was like, this is me, this is Lindsay. And, you know, and Hana was just everything I stand by, you know, someone who protects her friends, her family, her culture. And, you know, for me, what's changed is that I am so excited that I get to go and share this with you guys. And, you know, it's already such an honor that so many people have gotten to see it and already get to see what it's really like in Hawaii. You know, you guys got to see a bit of the pigeon, the Hawaiian words. And if you guys can step away with a little bit of information about our culture, I mean, that's a win for me. <laughs> yeah, I would, uh, I, would, I would reiterate everything Lindsay said. Um, I think in general for, for myself personally, the whole movie was an adventure. Um, from, from the start of it, auditioning for the roles, getting to meet the cast before, um, in, in the uh, chemistry reads and kind of getting to go on this whole adventure while we're filming a movie that is a whole adventure. Uh, it was just, it was a, it was a whirlwind of, of learning about culture, admiring my own culture in that, getting to admire my family even more and grow closer to this new family. Uh, there was this duality of on-screen and off-screen adventure that just got to kind of run the two or three months that we were out in Hawaii and Thailand. Amazing, thank you. Alex, um, I know that you are a blogger and I just wanted to <laughs> ask you, how different is to be a blogger and to be an actor? How do you prepare for the role and uh, how do you enjoy it? I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, Victoria. <laughs> I have never, ever, ever, ever heard myself referenced as a blogger. So that's sick. Um, I get to add that now to my repertoire that I'm a blogger. I think just the, the the realm, the difference for me when it when it came into acting, especially from being a musician, um, and I had just written my my first album right before we went and filmed this movie. And I'd spent so much time working on this album being myself relentlessly, like without any apology, completely unfiltered, telling everybody my story, who I am. And then we go on to set, and I'm while, you know, I, I agree with Lindsay, she earlier said that we were, um, you know, all of our characters, every single one of us were so close to who we actually are. Uh, and I think it was so different going from being relentlessly me to taking on the personality, taking on the, the life of somebody else. And it was actually really, really fun uh, because it was, you know, honestly, it was pretty exhausting writing the album, telling all of my secrets and letting out every piece of information about me. Uh, to now, you know, getting to be somebody else and kind of wear somebody else's skin. That sounds weird, but get to be <laughs> somebody else uh, for a little bit. Uh, I mean, um, I should have said vlogger. Vlogger, <laughs> blogger. Yeah. I'll take them all, honestly. Like, I'm not mad about it at all. I am happy. You, you have a, a lot of uh, followers in YouTube. So. <laughs> I'm very, very lucky that I get to, uh, to, to live a lot of adventurous things, including this movie. So is this the way you were chosen be because of your career as a, as a YouTuber? So the way that it all unfolded was 
I would I had signed to a new agency and I always shout out my agent Peter DeSantis because mm -hmm. I remember sitting in the room talking with the music agents talking with the social media agents uh and and Peter was like I really want to get you acting and and in my mind I was like look I would love to act I'm just I'm focused on my music right now and he's like trust me let me, you know, let me go put you out on some more auditions. I'll get you in the right rooms. And this movie happened to be one of the first auditions that I went on. So it, the way that I went about getting the role, I think had no influence on, on um, what I was doing outside of the acting world. And that's why I think it was such a fun adventure because it was something I never really, the process from A to Z, I'd never really gone through. And my question is, do you have a favorite memory or a scene from filming and being in Hawaii? <laughs> memory I think I think for me my favorite memory of filming was our first day of shooting it was our first day in Hawaii we're still getting used to each other and it was a crazy day okay so <laughs> Alex I'm laughing, laughing I, already I already know I already know what you're gonna say, <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> we just remembered the story recently but our first shot first shot of the whole entire movie we just really met each other we're getting comfortable with each other and it's the scene where E and Hana have to lay in the hammock together. Super sweet, super cute little moment. And they set it up, we're on the beach, it's gorgeous. They're like, okay, we're ready for you guys. Just jump on in and Alex goes and lays in and it's, we're all good, we're moving forward. And I'm like, okay, I just, I climb in. Are you guys sure? They're like, it's so fine, it's good. I climb in and I lean next to him. I mean, within two seconds, the thing breaks <laughs> from the tree. I mean, we slam to the ground onto the sand. I mean, luckily it was the sand because it would, I mean, I landed right on top of Alex. I think I knocked the wind out of him. And oh, I mean, it was just like a foreshadowing. I was like, oh, this is going to be a fun adventure. Like this is how we start right out the gate. So I think that's always going to be a favorite of mine. I'm, I'm gonna have to choose a different one because that was yeah. definitely one of my favorite because I mean we're both this is our first big production we both want to be professional but Thank I just you. got I literally the wind was knocked out of me I had a human land on my body <laughs> from about five feet not five feet but like three feet not not the most but it was very definitely like a memorable moment <laughs> um, I would say outside of that I think one of my favorite moments from the movie was uh when we were in Hawaii, every set that we were on was pretty real. Everything was, you know, nothing was really like built. Uh, and then we get to Thailand and we got to the um, kind of the, the stages in Thailand and seeing these huge, massive caves, especially the final cave. And it's all built like we're in a regular studio, but they made it look and feel like you're actually in a cave. I just remember how breathtaking it was seeing what we were gonna then be working on for almost a month uh, was inside of a building. It wasn't even a real thing yet <laughs> as we were doing it and as we were watching it back, it all felt like we were in the same exact caves that we were in, in you know the real caves. It was just, it was so surreal seeing that and being a part of it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am Amanda from Guide for Moms is my site and Crazy Amanda Reacts on YouTube. So my question is for Alex, of course. Oh gosh. <laughs> At being the YouTuber and you know, doing all your songs on there and everything. I just wondered, you know, after doing this movie, if it inspired you to write any songs about your experience. And if so, you know, let's hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That is a great spot. question. That is a great question. Um, honestly, the inspiration that the movie experience gave me, I would say was a lot less about music. Again, I had just finished writing my, my first album where I felt like I was just, I was laying it all out on the line. I was pouring my heart out. And so I was, I was honestly, songwriting wise was pretty wiped. So I didn't write too much after I got back from the movie. But what it really did inspire me to do was focus on what's important to me. I think that that's something that's a really strong undertone of the film is figuring out and realizing what's important to you. And, and in this film and in my real life, that is family, that is my ohana. And on top of that, kind of understanding a little bit more about what really matters. We're in a pretty tumultuous world right now where there is a lot of, of um, unfortunate distractions that can really deter you from what's important. And, and getting to be a part of this film and coming home from this film. And we actually came home pretty much straight into the holidays. 
uh, it was a beautiful transition for me to focus on what was really important to me and spend time um, with my loved ones, spend time, um, you know, serving other people and really kind of drawing the things that are important to me as close as I could. Thank you. And shoot, I was hoping to hear you sing. <laughs> I know. Hey, Amanda, as soon as I come out with like the Ohana song, I'm going to call you and we'll, we'll That's I'll, it. I'll Crazy Amanda reacts. You. you know where okay. to find Crazy me. Crazy Amanda reacts. I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, Lindsay, this question is for you. You mentioned that um, you kind of saw yourself in the script, um, but how specifically are you like your character and how are you different? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's kind of hard to find where I'm different from Hana. Like, <laughs> like I said, the moment I got the script and I was reading the sides, I was like, these are words out of my own mouth. Like, you know, Hana, the biggest similarity between us is this love and respect for her culture, her family, her friends. Like I said, she's very protective. I mean, she's a very loving and sweet person, but you don't want to cry her because I mean once that happens it's all downhill but like I said it's more in a protective way and that's me with my family with my friends I mean I will take care of everyone and anyone but you still don't want to cross Lindsay either <laughs> because, because you'll see a very different side but you know I think the only difference between me and Hana and might I say this is the beginning difference is um Hana had that very big aspect of the fear of leaving and going off you know leaving her family and following her dreams and it it almost you know destroyed her chances of going out there I feel like that's the only difference is for me as Lindsay I lived that moment but oh I pushed right through it I mean when I was in Hawaii I was born and raised there and when it you know when I turned 18 I graduated high school I was like I'm out of here like I, I have to try you know it, it, it might kill me but I'm gonna try at least I can sleep at night knowing that I at least tried to follow my dreams and like I said I mean it's just full circle happy moment for me that it led me right back home where I got to film and be with my family and be a Hawaiian girl and take this culture to the screen so I mean I couldn't have been happier <laughs> that's amazing thank you Thank you. Well, you touched on it a little bit, but your grandmother lives like two minutes from yeah. the set. So I'm dying to hear what it was like traveling home and seeing your Ohana while filming this. Yeah, yeah that was just the, I mean, cherry on top when they, you know, it's a it's not a big island, but it's bigger than Maui. And so, you know, there's lots of different areas we're filming. And then we didn't really know before. And they're like, oh, we're driving to set. And I'm like, I know these roads. Like, this is very familiar to me. And I was like, my grandma's house right over this hill like I know that and so we went to set and I like called my grandma later I was like I was next to you all day and she was like what so it was so fun to know like I said you know I only traveled around that part of the island growing up so I knew it super well and to get to actually go in and film a movie there was so crazy I mean we were on the roads right by the ocean side I mean the islands that I would stare at from her house we were filming right next to it was so crazy and then my family actually lives on Maui, which is like a 30 minute flight away. And so they were able to jump on a flight and come on over and they got to come on set. They actually like kind of surprised me because I knew they were coming, but our set was kind of away, like up in the forest at night. And I, I was like, oh, I don't think they'll be able to come up all the way to the set. So I'll see them after. And we we're filming this really intense scene in the boat shed. And we wrapped or didn't wrap we just cut and then we walked out and my whole family was sitting there and they were all watching I mean I almost died I was so happy I didn't know Ian Bryce the amazing producer he was like I brought them all up he was like they were not gonna wait down at the bottom he's like and they all had their headsets they were watching on the monitors I mean my heart I, I almost died they're my they're my world so it was so wonderful to have them there that's a great moment. Mom. Yeah. <laughs> we loved the movie. A little bit of Goonies, a little bit of Raiders of the Lost Ark. I mean, it was super cool. So what yeah. I wanted to know was, did you guys do your stunt scenes? And tell me more about the cliff scene when you guys jump off. Is that CGI? What, what, that was amazing. Absolutely. And the vines. You got to tell me about the vines. Okay, so go for it. <laughs> Go, Alex. You tell him about. Did we do our own stunts, Alex? We did our. <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, Kathy. We did our own stunts, and <laughs> we when we did them, we do. We are stunt men and women. We are stunt people. Uh, we got even invited to the stunt people's yes. the, the green room for stunt people. It was. It's a. It's really big. It's a huge deal, it's Kathy. 
We are equivalent <laughs> now to the Tom Cruises, the Jackie yeah, that's Chans. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are, uh, trains next. Yes. Yeah. Uh, our <laughs> most dangerous, our most dangerous stunt that we got to do was literally falling like three feet onto three a feet. mat. And let it be known, uh, I actually did get to jump the cliff jump um, as well, which was super exciting. Um, but yeah, we, we, we did them. This, the cliff, seeing the cliff scene come to life uh, because we filmed half of it. No, we filmed like a third of it in one spot and then another third of it in another spot and then another third of it in another spot. Uh, so seeing it come together, you're like, oh, wow, it looks really, really crazy. In all honesty, yes, we did the stunt, but no, it was not anywhere near <laughs> as high or scary as we the movie makes some. it seem. Yes, we yes, did we some, did though. some of our stunts. Uh, the more dangerous ones, the ones that you'll see where there's a lot of flipping and a lot of impact, obviously we brought in stuntmen and women for that, but they, as much as they allowed us to, we, we took the opportunities. Alex is a lot more brave than I am, so he did the higher jumps and things like that, but um, like you were saying, the waterfall scene is my favorite because when we watched it come together, I I laugh when I go because I'm like, wait, that's one location. That's another location. That's a separate location. So that one sequence of us from the top waterfall all the way to the water um, is literally three different locations. Some are in Hawaii, some are in Thailand, some are real, some are fake set. So it was really insane to see, you know, they had us in like a full body harness hanging like 45 feet in the air for some of our stunts, which we just, they would go call action and they would drop us all the way down to the water. And I mean, Alex did his amazing stunts when he does the drowning, you know, and any underwater scenes was, that was all us, underwater scenes. And yeah, we, we killed those underwater. Also, I don't know if we should be, I don't know if we should be telling all of these secrets. I feel I like we're now going to ruin that scene for <laughs> no, everybody. No, no, They're like me. fake, fake, <laughs> fake. <laughs> not fake creative <laughs> creative that's what it is it's not fake it's just you know We're creative, creative.